Hey you guys, basically I'm telling the incoming freshmen exactly how and exactly what to pack if you're moving into a dorm room. Let's get started. All of your books. If you haven't ordered your books already, go ahead and order them now. There's a link that you can find on your school's website where your schedule is and it'll tell you all the books that you need for each course. Go through Amazon.com, Chegg, then your last resort would be your school's bookstore. But make sure when you get on campus, you either have all of your books coming before the first day of school or you have all of your books packed up when you get. Don't wait until your professor says, hey, you need the book or hey, you don't need the book. If you don't need it, sell it back. Okay, the second thing you're gonna need is a copy of your schedule. And you need to have that before you step on campus. You need to know where you're going. You're gonna need notebooks. You can invest in a planner. I'm not quite sure how much this was, but I do know I got it from Walmart. It has every month, it has a calendar. And then once you get past the calendar, it has every day of that month with more space to write exactly what you need. So this is how I use my planner. You're also gonna need folders. These are the main tools that you're gonna need. Mechanical pencils. There's no pencil sharpeners in um, lecture halls. You may be in like a classroom based room depending on what university or community college you're going to. But every classroom I've been in or lecture hall I've been in didn't come equipped with a pencil sharpener. So use a mechanical pencil you guys. You can even use these on scantrons. Get highlighters. Um, I got different colors because it helped me organize my notes. Pins, you want blue, black, and red. Um, a Sharpie, put your name on stuff. I don't know about every university, but my university put a USB drive in their lanyard. So I have a USB drive. If you don't have one, go out and get one. Don't get one of those super fancy, expensive ones. Get the cheapest one you can find. When you get on campus, go to, your libra go to the library, um, or go to the bookstore or try both and pick up a pack of Scantron. They run about a dollar and some change. A pack of note cards. These ran me less than a dollar and there's a hundred note cards in there. I got uh, three packs. And the other thing you need to bring is a calculator. Some math classes you can't use your graphing calculator. It's considered cheating. Don't spend like 80 plus dollars on a T89 if you don't have to, you know what I'm saying? So get just like one of those basic calculators. You don't have to bring a printer. On my campus, the third floor of the business building offered free printing with your USB drive, up to 20 pages. Student Center offered free printing on the second floor. Ask around. You don't need to bring a stapler. There's a stapler in the business building. There's a stapler in the library. You don't have to bring a hole puncher. What? You should already have bras, underwear, boxers, briefs, socks, undershirts, pajamas. Hey, you're also gonna get like free shirts on campus. Bring a few shirts, but you don't have to bring a ton. If you believe you'll be going to church or interviewing for on-campus jobs or jobs around campus, for girls, bring slacks and one skirt. Bring a button-up, bring a pair of heels. Boys, bring slacks, bring a button-up, a tie, not a bow tie, not a short tie. We're not going to prom. And then a pair of dress shoes. If you already have clothes, just take those with you and then add what you need to your wardrobe. First go, it's still gonna be fairly hot or warm. Girls, take shorts, tank tops, t-shirts, dresses, skirts, sandals, tennis shoes, and then rain boots are optional. And then bring heels because I know you guys are gonna go to party. Boys, bring like cargo shorts or like khaki shorts, camo shorts, um, tanks, tees, button downs, polos, tennis shoes, and a jacket with a hood just in case it rains. I know a lot of guys that don't like umbrellas. Girls, go ahead and bring an umbrella. And then winter, you wanna switch your clothes between September and October to prep for cooler weather. Bring a television, a cable cord for guys, gaming systems, even girls, DVDs. I got a lot of my DVDs for like super cheap on amazon.com. And then you wanna bring your laptop. Go ahead and talk to your roommate. You don't wanna buy a television and they have a television. You only need one TV in um, each room like your phone, your iPod. You can bring your iHome. For girls, bring your flat iron, your curling iron. Girls and guys, bring an iron. 
you don't necessarily have to bring an ironing board and get a really cheap ironing board from Ross or the dollar store. You want to bring your chargers for your phone and your laptop. You can bring a surge protector or an extension cord. It's optional. Some campuses don't allow it. Don't waste your money on bulletin boards. Don't waste your money on announcement boards because um, the way the walls are in the dorm rooms, I know a lot of my bulletin and announcement boards fell on me while I was sleeping. If you have your planner, you have your notebooks, your binders and your folders, you should be you know, keeping up with stuff to the point where you don't need a bulletin board anyway. Bring a lamp, it's optional. You don't really need it because your desk has a light. Pictures and posters are optional. Make your dorm room like accommodate you, but don't do too, too much. You're gonna need Windex. If you have a bathroom in your room, get some bathroom cleaner. Get the, the all over, the all around, all in one. The stuff that you can use to clean the sink and the toilet and the tub. You want paper towels air freshener, disinfecting wipes, dishwashing liquid, laundry detergent, fabric softener, dryer sheets, and then get laundry bags. All of that stuff I just named, you can get at the dollar store. Soap, uh, in college, I would suggest body wash, not bar soap. Cause um, even if you have a bathroom in your room, you don't wanna just leave your bar soap sitting there cause your roommates may use it. It's really um, a lot easier. To just have body wash, toothpaste, toothbrush, mouthwash, face wash, towels. Get 10 big towels, get 10 small towels. That's it. Deodorant, lotion, and body spray. Let me show you guys the college thing to do. This is the lotion that I use at home. This is the lotion that I use at school. I had to get a new lotion about three months in. Do not go overboard with the snacks. If you are a freshman or if you're living on campus period, you have a meal plan, so use your meal plan. Healthy stuff, fattening stuff, all that good stuff is in the cafeteria. The two most important snacks that you need to bring to college, one being ramen noodles, two being um, water, bottled water. I got three 24 packs of water. Yeah. And that lasted me pretty much all semester. I ran out of water uh, finals day. You definitely want to have plastic bowls, microwavable ones, plastic ware. Uh, you can do paper plates, you can do styrofoam plates, and you want to have napkins. We ordered a lot of pizza, we ordered a lot of Chinese food, so it's just really good to have like forks and all that stuff, and plates and napkins and paper towels and stuff in your room because you're going to be eating in there as well as the cafeteria. If you have an early morning class, meaning eight o'clock to about 11 o'clock, you're gonna wanna eat breakfast in your room. Make sure you have like dry cereal, granola bars or cereal bars, Pop-Tarts. What I would not suggest having in your room is fruit. It goes bad so fast that I just wouldn't waste my money on fresh fruit anymore. Cause I did get fruit while I was in college and it, it did go to waste. Soup and crackers. I don't know what it is about dorm rooms and college, but I was sick most of the time. If my roommate was sick, I was sick. If I was sick, she was sick. So you definitely wanna have soup and crackers and don't get the canned soup and then put it in a, in a bowl. Get the, the soup that already comes in the microwavable thingy-mabobber. And then uh, don't get like the, the big stack of crackers. They sell this box as like little packs of crackers i think it comes with about 12 crackers and then get about six little packs get that and then get the ones with sea salt because that's what i like like vitamin c or one a day for my girls trying to grow their hair out, biotin. I know there are a whole bunch of natural girls in college. Girl, bring your biotin, bring your hair, skin, and nail pills, cold and flu medicine, airborne. There you go. You want to have airborne, cough drops, bring tea, their flu, aspirin, my, uh, my ladies who are still menstruating, 
who aren't on the BC, bring some Midol, bring Bear for headaches, ibuprofen for pains, whatever works for you. All that was just a suggestion. How I brought my binders and my notebooks and all that good stuff to school in this plastic bin right here. If it has a shelving unit, that's where your books, your binders, your notebooks, your planner, that's where all that stuff goes. As far as your supplies, like your pens and stuff, there are going to be some drawers in your desk area. Put your pens, your highlighters, USB drive, your scantrons, your note cards, your sharpies, your whiteout, the copy of your schedule and uh, your calculator in those drawers. Bring your athletic or casual clothes in bins. Like you can get these clear plastic bins. I think they sell them at the dollar store. The second best place in the world, Walmart. They should have some clear plastic bins. You wanna make sure they're big enough to hold your stuff, but small enough to fit in your room under your bed. Your socks, bras, and uh, underwear, yeah. Put that in your drawers. Everything that's not athletic, that's not casual, that's not pajamas, and that's not undergarments, hang it up. Hang everything up, put a trash bag over it, pull the hangers through, lug all your clothes in like that, and hang them up in your closet. If you have to make outfits before you pack everything up, do so. If your TV is still in the box, just lug the box up, put the cable cord in the box, and yeah, just drag everything up there. Um, if your gaming system is still in the box, put that back in the box. As far as like your chargers and the surge protector and all of that stuff, um, you can put your charger in the drawer with uh, your school supplies, or you can just always have it plugged up. Your flat iron and your curling iron can go in the school supply drawer as well. And then your iron and your ironing board can go in the closet. Most important thing, don't bring moving boxes. Put things in a plastic bin, the big plastic bin. So squish all of your clothes in one bin and then put like your charger, your surge protector, um, your jewelry, all this loose stuff. Put all that loose stuff in the second bin and then that's how you're going to carry everything up to your room and then you can place things where they need to be placed. So that'll make moving in and moving out a whole lot easier and faster. I had this like, this small little cleaning supply bin and I just put all my cleaning supplies in there. It wasn't very big and everything fit, you can put that in your closet. I put all of my snacks in a plastic bin. So I had a plastic bin for clothes, cleaning supplies, and snacks. Um, as far as vitamins go, the little plastic, the small plastic bin I showed you with my binders and stuff in it, you can throw vitamins in there. Go ahead and get a shower caddy, but um, don't get a shower caddy like you would hang up in your bathroom. Get like an actual shower caddy. Go ahead and throw your soap, your toothpaste, your toothbrush, your face wash, and your mouthwash in there. That's what you're gonna, what you're gonna take to the bathroom with you. You wanna use as much drawer space as you can, as much closet space as you can, and then limit the things that are underneath your bed. But as far as getting everything there, don't use moving boxes, use plastic bins.